Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the honorary president of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of his noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah expressed deepest pride at the global recognition, hailing His Majesty's contributions and pioneering initiatives that embody the values and principles of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the distinguished steps taken by Bahraini youth and the proof they presented that they are initiators and proactive in social youth work in a message that affirms their keenness on supporting the community and investing their time for the interests of the nation. On the occasion of launching Badr for youth initiatives to serve the community, His Highness stressed the importance of supporting pioneering youth initiatives in various fields and providing the appropriate and ideal environment to embrace such initiatives and support them. His Highness stated that, he had directed the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to launch a department concerned with supporting youth initiatives with the aim of providing the necessary plans and programs which contribute to the implementation of Bahraini youth ideas and initiatives which is in line with the policies of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and providing all that is necessary for Bahraini youth to support their initiatives and ideas with innovative solutions that contribute to the development of society and encourage innovation. His Highness added that supporting Bahraini youth and their initiatives stems from the wise directors of His Majesty the King, who always directs to invest in the youth and their energies and develop their skills to advance society through their pioneering initiatives in various fields. His Highness noted that the Badr project is a model for the youth to be creative and innovative and to enhance their non-profit competitiveness, relying on innovative elements of youth and diversity. His Highness Sheikh Nasser concluded by expressing confidence in the Bahraini youth who are keen on advancing their country, calling on them to benefit from Badr, to highlight their abilities and skills and encourage them to be creative. The commander of King Hamad University Hospital Major General Dr. Sheikh Salman bin Atiyah Allah Al Khalifa launched MRI Accelerator at Bahrain Oncology Center, the first at the regional level. He added that in cooperation with Electa Company, the launch comes to provide cancer patients with modern and comprehensive health care. The radiology department at the Bahrain Oncology is distinguished by its accuracy and timely availability. Since the department's work began during the past three and a half years, the center has succeeded in treating cancer patients who need radiotherapy within the required time periods without waiting lists. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus stated that a 14-day average positivity rate needs to remain below 2% before the alert level can transition from yellow to green. The task force noted that some dates may be de designated at higher alert levels if deemed necessary to the health and safety of all and reiterated the importance of continuing to adhere to all precautionary measures to reduce transmission rates and eradicate the virus. At a virtual awards ceremony earlier this month, the achievements and standing of the Bahrain Chamber of Dispute Resolution were recognized by the influential and widely read arbitration journal Global Arbitration Review in an award for the 2021 Regional Arbitration Institution that impressed. To speak more about this, we are joined over the phone by BCDR CEO Professor Naseeb Ziada. Hello Professor Naseeb, can you tell us about the efforts of BCDR and how you were able to be recognized as a 2021 regional arbitration institution that impressed. We at the Bahrain Chamber for Dispute Resolution, BCDR, have been delighted to receive this recognition from Global Arbitration Review, GAR, which is an influential and widely read arbitration journal. BCDR was established in 2010. It is both a court and the regional arbitration institution. GAR has an award every year for a regional arbitration institution that has impressed by its development and progression towards international standards. There are many regional arbitration institutions in various areas of the world. 
in the GCC alone, there are more than 15 such institutions. We are very proud that this year BCDR came on the top despite a very tough competition from across the world and despite very difficult circumstances caused by the COVID-19 epidemic. All this goes to show that all efforts and procedures put in place by BCDR over the last decade were correct and pointing BCDR in the right direction towards the future. BCDR has attained financial independence and has become a well-known and respected regional arbitration center with a dedicated staff that comes from various backgrounds and is proficient in Arabic, English, and French. BCDR's board of trustees includes prominent arbitrators from the international arbitration community and is chaired by Sheikh Hayya Rashid Al Khalifa, a former chair of the General Assembly of the United Nations. BCDR has a state-of-the-art arbitration and mediation rules and has so far administered 346 cases. Additionally, BCDR has built a reputation as a center of education and learning. It plays an important role in educating both local and regional experts and professionals and publishes a very well-respected international arbitration law journal. It trains future arbitrators by being a co-founder of the Middle East Peace Primus, which has so far benefited some 650 students from over 20 countries. BCDR's expertise was recognized by the Bahraini government as it represents Bahrain in the important work taking place in working groups two and three of the United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, UNCITRAL, which is a subsidiary body of the UN General Assembly responsible for helping to facilitate international trade and investment. And I take this opportunity to express through you my appreciation to all those who have supported BCDR throughout the year. CEO of Bahrain Chamber for Disputes Resolution, Professor Naseeb Ziada, thank you for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,074,175 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,567,000 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,252 with 262 recoveries, 140 registered new cases and two deaths. 88 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 47 are contacts of active cases and 5 are travel related. The Ministry expresses heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.